Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to run through the installation process of our Cakewalk MIDI controller for Stream Deck package. So one of the first things we're going to do, we have to hop onto the web and download a small piece of software that's going to help us align our ports. Now if you've installed one of our other packs in the MIDI controller series, you likely have already gone through the process of downloading Loop MIDI and assigning the ports. You can skip this part if you've already done it. They use the same ports. So opening up your browser of choice, you're going to navigate to this address and the link will be in the description below and it's also here on the screen for you. Make it easy for you to just hop over to it. And you're gonna download this piece of software called Loop MIDI. So you just hit the uh, download Loop MIDI and then we're going to double click the Loop MIDI setup and we want to make sure that the auto start Loop MIDI when logging in is selected. Very important, you got to make sure that this uh, always will load up when you restart your computer and that way you don't ever have to worry about aligning the ports every time. And then we'll agree to the license terms, we'll install. Once that's done we're going to launch. So once we've launched, we get this dialog box here. We're going to assign some new ports. So I'll click on the new port name. We're going to overwrite this. And the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW. And it's case sensitive. So it's capital M and capital D. It's Mackie to DAW. And then we hit the plus sign. We've added that port. Do the same thing again. Da to Mackie. Hit the plus sign. Now we're going to add another. This will be Stream Deck to Da Track. Once again, being aware of the case sensitivity. Hit the plus sign. And one more. DAW track to Stream Deck. Hit the plus sign. And there you go, we have our four ports all set up. Now we can just set this off to the side and we're going to go to Stream Deck. And we need to install a plugin here. So we'll go to, we're in uh, Stream Deck version 5, so they have the new store here. We're going to click on plugins. In the search box here, we're going to type MIDI and it'll be this plugin here that we want to install, MIDI by Trevor Ligus Bell. Say install. Just takes a second. And once that's installed, we can close out the store. Now the next thing we're going to do is, is launch Cakewalk. We're going to go to Edit, Preferences. We're going to hop to MIDI Devices here. And in our Inputs, dialog, we'll select Mackie to DAW and Stream Deck to DAW Track. Those are our two inputs. And for our outputs, we're going to select DAW to Mackie and DAW Track to Stream Deck. And make sure we click Apply. And now we'll go over to Control Surfaces. We're going to import a new control surface. So we hit this button here, the Add New Controller Surface. Scroll down to select a Mackie control, and the input port will be Mackie to DAW, and the output port will be DAW to Mackie. Select OK. We'll apply that. Close. Now we're going to go over to Utilities, Cakewalk Plugin Manager. We'll scroll down to Control Surfaces, Mackie Control, and we're going to import a plugin preset. You'll need to go to your Cakewalk MIDI controller download that you got from Sideshow Effects. In there will be a folder called UMC Setup, and the file in that folder is Sideshow Effects UMC Setup. Click that to import it, and we'll close out. And now we're going to go to Utilities, Mackie Control. It opens up this dialog box for us, and we're just going to change a few things here. We're going to change the F1 to generate metronome during playback. 
There's a lot of things in this list. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, filter it very well. So we'll hit Generate Metronome During Playback. Checkbox, select Highlights Track, and Disable Handshake. And the Master Fader has to switch to Bus. And those are the setups for Cakewalk. Now we're going to go back to the desktop. And we'll go to the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX, your Cakewalk MIDI controller for Stream Deck. This folder here, MIDI Graphics, if we open that up, there's one folder in here called Travliga Spell. What this has is it holds all the graphics for the MIDI controls in our Stream Deck profile. So we need to drop this in a very specific place, namely in our Documents folder. So we can highlight our navigation pane. We can go to our Documents folder, click and drag and put it straight into there. Now I've already got it there so I, I don't need to do that. But that's where it will sit, is in the root of your Documents folder there. Now we will go to Stream Deck and we're going to actually load in the profile. So you click on the gear icon here, go to Profiles, at the bottom here is a flyout menu, select Import and you'll navigate to the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX. Inside the folder of Stream Deck Profiles, you'll find there are two profiles here. One is for the XL device and one is for the regular 15 key device. So depending on which device you're currently using, that's the profile you're going to install. So we'll install the XL. I already have it installed, so I'll just hop over to it right now. And once it's installed, this is what you're presented with. And at that point, you're good to go. Now one additional thing I wanted to point out was you may have noticed in the Stream Deck Profiles folder, there's an additional folder here called To Copy. If we open that up, there are two more profiles. Now these profiles, uh, one for the regular 15 key and one for the XL device, are identical to the ones we just imported here, with one exception. What the two copy versions do is they take this entire profile and just pack it into one folder. So I'll just open it up and just show you what it looks like. So this is all it is. It's just one folder. And you double click this and it opens up the exact same thing. The reason for this is this allows us to click on the folder, right click, say copy, and now I can paste this into any profile I've got currently on my system. So let's say I'm going to start to build my own profile. Let's just go to a blank one for now. And I want my Cakewalk MIDI controller profile to be embedded into this new profile of mine. Well, I can select on any blank key here, say paste, and there's the folder. Open it up, and I have my Cakewalk MIDI controller in this profile. So it's just a way for you to place things where you want them, so you don't have to keep on switching back and forth between profiles. So that's it, you're all up and running. I encourage you to go and take a look at the orientation video that we put together for Cakewalk that details all the features and functions and how you use them. The link will be in the description below. So as always, thanks so much for downloading the program. We really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey and hopefully they make a difference in your daily workflow and help you to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.